Hello YouTube, so today I am going to do a um, apple cider vinegar and a Indian clay hair mask. This is what I'm going to use is, what I'm going to use is the Aztec Healing Clay. It is a bentonite clay and also my apple cider vinegar. I have a large container of apple cider vinegar. I have already shampooed my hair, so I shampooed it, no conditioner. And this is what it looks like. No, I did not detangle it or anything else. So what I'm going to do is mix the um, products into this plastic bow. Um, I'm not going to measure anything like that because I can guarantee you with as much hair as I have, it's probably going to take quite a bit of this. So for right now, just coated the bottom basically. Hi, Angelo. Hi. So right now what I did was I coated the bottom of the bow and I'm going to just add some clay. I don't want it to be a real, real, real thick consistency, nor do I want it to be a runny consistency. And I'm going to mix it with my purple spoon. And let's see. Look at how it's bubbling. This is having a serious reaction within itself. That is why you should not mix it with a metal spoon and you should not put it in a metal bow or anything like that. I just went ahead and decided to put it in my plastic Tupperware bow. Let's try to get this mixed pretty well and see. Once the bubbles go away, we'll see how much product we have. See if I need to add some more. I can guarantee you I'm probably going to have to make a couple of different mixtures to go all over my entire head. I have been natural now um, for about three years. I did just color my hair. I colored it a red. All I did was touch up my root area. I mean, as you can see, you know, it just basically touched up the gray hairs that I had. That's all I did today was um, touch up my root area with a 5RR color, um, 30 volume developer. Ew, look at this. It still got the bubbles in it. Um, let's see. I'm gonna go ahead and just start putting this on my hair. I'm probably about to make a complete mess. So let me start with not a huge section. You do want to put this on slightly damp hair. My hair is, is still damp. So I'm going to go ahead and start over here. And we're just going to coat my hair roots to ends. Ew. <laughs> it's still foaming up. And yes, this is going to be kind of messy. I'm not going to take huge sections of the hair. This might be just maybe a little too runny, but we're going to go with it. It's okay if I get it on my shirt because that's why I put this on because I already knew this was going to make a mess. Now, I shampooed my hair from a previous iron out. I did have it ironed out since um, probably right around New Year's Eve is when I ironed out my hair. I never put any more heat or anything on it. This section might be a little bit too big because it's not going all the way through. You wanna make sure you coat all the hair. Yeah, that section was probably way too big. So we're gonna just take it a little bit smaller sections. And this is all we're going to do is, oh, maybe I should have detangled my hair first because this is about to be a mess to try to get through.
all right so as you can see what i did was go ahead and let the ball down and took this off the top of my hair because unfortunately right here in this middle part it was not drying and stuff i don't want it to dry all the way on my hair but it's already starting to dry up and through here but i do want it to penetrate my hair shaft and my cuticle and stuff a little bit more so i went ahead and took the ball out as you can already start to see see those waves now, I have a tighter curl pattern, and my hair is just a little bit frizzy. But look at this down here. See how it's already starting to define my hair and everything else? So I'm probably just going to sit here for about, oh, maybe about five or six more minutes, and then I'm going to go ahead and rinse this out. But I wanted to come back to let you see before I go ahead and rinse it out. This is what it looks like so far. I'm going to sit here for another five minutes and then I'm going to co-wash my hair. And then when I come back, I'll let you know exactly what type of um, conditioner I like to use to co-wash my hair. All right, so I came back and I ended up still having to shampoo my hair. But I wanted to come back to show you this is my hair with conditioner in it. What I mainly be concerned about is my curls under here. Look at how well defined they are and everything else. I went ahead and put conditioner in my hair and detangled it. And if I can get my hands on the conditioner. This is the conditioner I usually use. Well, I always use this. This is the Tresemme Moisture Rich Conditioner. Love, love, love this conditioner. It keeps my curls nice and hydrated. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and sit for a little while with conditioner on my hair. And then I'm going to rinse it out. Um, I'm probably going to do a twist out on my hair. haven't decided yet because it's already nighttime. So I know I don't want to go to sleep with any wet hair or anything. But look at how more defined these curls are and everything. That is exactly what I wanted was more definition to my curls and for them to separate some instead of being nice and frizzy. So this is what it looks like right now with some conditioner on it. And what I'll do is I will come back after I rinse my conditioner out to show you what it looks like with absolutely no product on it. All right, so this is what it looks like after I went ahead and rinsed out that conditioner. As you can see, it is a little bit frizzy. Don't know what I'm quite going to do to my hair yet. I'm probably just maybe going to wear a washout, maybe not a twist out. Who knows? But for right now, what I'm going to do is put in a little bit of my Cantu leave-in conditioning cream. I only have a little bit left. I'll probably end up putting the entire jar in my hair. Probably I'll go ahead and twist this out and everything. Might just leave it, but as I explained earlier, this is my hair with no product. You can see it's kind of frizzy. I have been touching on it and everything else. But my curls are still very, 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 very defined. And that's the one thing I wanted. I really wanted it to define the curls up underneath here. So I'm going to go ahead and end this video. I'm just going to put some leave-in conditioner in for right now. I love the way it makes my hair feel. It is very, very, very hydrated. I love that conditioner. Usually I'll just leave that conditioner in my hair, even though you're probably not supposed to leave conditioner, just regular conditioner in. But I feel as if my hair could always use a little bit more moisture in its life. So for right now, I think I'm going to put the leave-in in and just go ahead and leave it just like this. I probably will pull it up or something so that it can dry without, because as you can see, look, I still have everything all over my clothes from earlier. But that's probably what I'm going to do is just go ahead and just leave this in a, in a um, shampoo, in a washout. It's probably what I'm going to do. So let me know below if you would suggest any products for my hair. I do color my hair. Um, I would say I probably color my hair once every probably month and a half or so. And I do keep it hydrated. As I explained earlier, I only earn out my hair twice a year, probably every six months. Just enough to get a good haircut and everything else. So let me know if you would suggest any products. Um, I do like the Cantu line. Um, I can't say that I like their conditioner or anything else. Um, 
I do have to put a lot of, lot of, lot of because of the color. I have to keep my hair very moisturized. I do not like to put any heavy oil or things like that in my hair. I try to limit it to creams and maybe a light oil because I don't want my hair to be real, real shiny and limp. And plus, I don't like to have to shampoo out my hair a whole bunch or even co-wash it. So comment, like, subscribe, and let me know down in my comment box what you would like to see next. I'll probably do a twist out next. Who knows? I might just braid up my hair. It's still pretty cold here in Indianapolis, so we'll see. Okay, I had to come back real fast to show you guys that this is how my daughter said that I needed to wear my hair. I needed to have my bun looking exactly like hers. Will you come here, see her, so they can see your bun? My bun doesn't look good. She doesn't want to be on camera. But look at this. <laughs> she decided she wanted me to have a bun just like hers. So you know what? It's probably going to mat up in the inside and everything else. But I'm going to wear it like this for the next couple of days. So Thanks, Sierra. Yeah. <laughs> she said it looks good. It looks better that I needed to look more like her. <laughs> the mind of a 12-year-old. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and finish out this video. I'll probably come back maybe when I do a twist out on my hair. Probably will go buy me some more hair products this weekend since, of course, look, I've used all my conditioner. So I'm going to have to replace my hair stuff. So I'll probably will do a twist out. But for now, I'm going to wear my Sierra bun. Cute. It's still all crinkly in the inside. All right, comment, like, subscribe. See you guys next time.